was more or less about uh, playing the game for a lot of years and trying to make something that kind of um, satisfied all the issues that you'd find when you were surf fishing. All the toys that you needed, all the gear that you needed, that you always were missing something no matter how many things you had in your truck. And this uh, enabled us to kind of put everything together. You know, years of problems, years of, of toys that you wanted to invent and issues that had to be resolved were kind of incorporated in this. The truck is a Mercedes-Benz Unimog. U-N-I-M-O-G, that stands for Universal Motor Gurat. Um, it was originally designed as an agricultural vehicle right after the war, World War II, but became predominantly used for military purposes. Troop carriers, radio boxes, things like that. This particular one was a 1975 Danish troop carrier that I got from a guy in Syracuse. And we took the troop carrier body off and put a radio box body on it and kind of modified it and made it into a beach uh, buggy, kind of a chase vehicle. Um, but it's tremendous off-road. It doesn't have the conveniences of home. There's no air conditioning. It rides rough. It's loud. It's really slow. Top speed is about 50 with the motor screaming. But it serves its purpose on the beach, and that's why it was made. I bought it about five years ago, and uh, it was originally like a camouflage color. Um, and for like two years, I did nothing with it for different reasons. I couldn't, I didn't have the time. And then I started to work on it. Um, and in a period of a year, we kind of took everything apart, took the cab off, sandblasted it, painted it, and came up with all the little uh, things that we wanted to put in it to serve the purpose that it needed to serve. Um, and I took it on its maiden voyage maybe three years ago out to Montauk. On its maiden voyage, the bolts on the fan unscrewed, cut into the radiator. I was stuck on the beach in Montauk with a few uh, fishing buddies helping me pull the radiator out. It was an ordeal. But after getting all the bugs out of it, it's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun. It has... Uh, what's called an OM352 Mercedes-Benz diesel engine, six-cylinder diesel. It's got less than 100 horsepower, but it's more or less uh, high torque, low speed. Um, but again, it serves a purpose. The Unimog has what's called portal axles, where the axle does not come into the hub of the wheel. It comes into the top of the wheel and then there's gears that drive the hub of the wheel. So it just gives you elevated ground clearance. Um, I know the Humvees, the military Humvee, has portal axles that were copied from the Unimog. The Unimog was designed in 1947. Um, but it just gives you great ground clearance. And that's been an advantage off-road on many occasions. If you leave it for four months without starting it, turn the key, a half a turn it kicks off. There's a winch in the front, a 15,000 pound winch, there's a winch in the back, um, fortunately I have not had to use it, um, but I really put them for Cape Cod because the spots in Cape Cod uh, on the outer beaches where you can go in cuts that are 250 feet long and if you go down in one of the cuts nobody's coming in to get you. We need storage for plugs and things so we made these big drawers that were like full of section drawers so they're self-supporting plus we put like a uh, boat mats on them so if you had to sleep a tide on the beach you could That's a pressurizing system to pressurize a water tank. Uh, we had to extend the body for the big rods because the body's only like nine foot eight inside. 
But we have rods that are over 11 feet, so we had to make a little extension on the top. All of that storage is custom made. Fresh water wash down. All the little things that when you start fishing, they're nice to have. They make life easier. Um, so we incorporated all of that stuff into the truck. This is actually a cooler rack that I had on one of my other trucks that like, we kind of incorporated onto this. With a whole bunch of neat features. The drain basket for when you're chasing fish and you gotta put your wet bags and belts when you you know, jumping in and out of the truck. Um, there's a million rod holders because there's always a bunch of people with a bunch of rods and this ends up being the truck that all the rods are on. Fly rod holders. Um, different sets of lights. One for driving on the beach at night. Uh, other ones for driving stealthy at night. Um, there's a cutting board for bait or if you wanted a fillet of fish. Then there's the eel cooler, which was something a friend of mine showed us a long time ago. Where we'd kind of uh, put the eels in the cooler, put the ice underneath them, and the eel slime would drain down. Um, so that was just another thing that made life a little bit easier. Um, it's all adjustable. You could take this out if you wanted to make the cooler narrower, put it on a narrower truck. All stainless steel. Um, and then this year made like a big tackle box instead of a cooler. A lot of guys have a cooler on the front to take fish and I don't really take fish. So we made it into a plug box. Um, too deep so you could have two of the same plugs. This was a hose reel, one for compressed air for when we're airing up and down or blowing sand off and stuff. One for fresh water. There's like a 15 gallon stainless steel fresh water tank that's pressurized with compressed air. And uh, I hope you guys to uh, access that stuff. Again, it's something that over the years, these were nice things to have. So this was not a vehicle to have it. We made a barbecue that was something that uh, we always wanted to do so you could pull the barbecue out and it wouldn't burn the paint and lots of times we spent nights on the beach and having hot food would be nice instead of having to drive somewhere. Shovel battery boxes, extra air tanks, extra fuel. It actually isn't, we don't use it for fuel, we use it for fresh water, those uh, tanks. We made these removable little gizmos, dry waders off. We have a couple of those that would hang our waders off, rinse them off with water and dry them. You'd hang your jackets on, another one. So it was just, a way to solve some of the problems when you're staying on the beach and your waders are wet and we wanted to put on dry waders when we were done. And basically we made like rod holders for the side of the truck to uh, hang long rods that would not be too high if you're driving on the roads. You had to worry about hitting trees and wires and stuff. Oh, <laughs>